Hey guys, Renee here. Welcome back. So for today, I have a bit of a haul. I went to the Dollar Tree. I went to a couple different thrift stores. I went to Walmart. I went to, I went shopping today. I haven't been out of my house in a hot minute um, with everything going on. So let's jump right into this because I don't even know. And I'm just going to grab bags. So you guys, there's going to be some nonsense. So this is from Goodwill. So I went to Goodwill today and I found this cute diffuser there and you take the top off, you, you know, put the water in there and it diffuses. I don't know what colors it lights up or if it's just clear. I don't know. I'm going to have to plug it in and find out. But it was $3.99, which is a steal. And so I will be plugging it in to find out what color it is. But this is what I picked up. And this is like a glass ceramic type thing. It's really pretty. So I got that. <clears throat> Um, I had my sister with me today, and she found these jeans. They're like a teal color. Let me see if I can turn on a, another light and see if it'll help. Maybe a little bit of light in your life. Okay, <clears throat> so anyways, so she found these teal um, jeans. They're from Coldwater Creek, and they're like a skinny jean, which is what she's into and they were $5.99 and she really liked them so I grabbed those for her. And then she also found this like purple pair. It, it's really hard to tell that they're purple on camera but they are purple and they are from Bandolino and they're an Amy cut and they were $6.99. And those are also skinny jeans. So I picked those up for her as well. Let's see, this looks like a Goodwill bag as well. <clears throat> then my sister found this book that she wanted. I guess um, it's the, the author of From the Faults of Our, In Our Stars. Um, John Green and this one is called Paper Town and it was a dollar ninety nine. She said that it's a really good book. I've never read it. It retailed originally for nine ninety nine. So um, I know nothing about this book. So if you do and you, I found it. I don't have a clue. Then she told me that she had read this book. It's called The Help novel and um, says that it's a it's by Catherine Stockett it was a dollar ninety nine and she said that she's read it and she wanted me to read it she said it's a really good book and that I would love it it's like kind of a historic type book and so she said that I would like it and I don't know I'll give it a whirl maybe if I get through it and I like it I'll let you guys know then we were on oh I found this for my daughter because she loves dream catchers and they had um, a dream catcher ornament there at Goodwill and I thought that's super pretty it was 79 cents and so I picked up that as well my dog is whining at the door because she wants in <clears throat> and then we actually went to the thrift stores because I was going through my CDs today and realized surprise surprise I'm missing a few Mariah Carey CDs and that's very shocking because I own like 20 some Mariah Carey CDs and I thought I had them all and I've even already purchased her new Caution album and it's on its way but um, I do download all my music to my phone now but I still have the CDs and I am a collector of Mariah Carey. I love Mariah Carey and so but I realized that I was missing a couple of her CDs and I was missing a couple older ones of hers that I guess I had like the main songs on like her number one hits that I have and stuff like that. But anyways, so um, I found one of the ones I was missing, which is the Emotions soundtrack or album, whatever you guys call it. And it was $1.99 and 
And so this one has emotions on it, obviously. It has um, to be around you, so blessed. Um, if it's over, make it happen, can't let go, the wind. Um, beautiful songs. I actually love this entire, I love every song by Mariah Carey. I don't think there's one she's put out that I don't like. And so, <clears throat> but while we were there, my sister was going through CDs and she's, my sister's 17. And so like her taste in music is a bit different than mine, but she actually shocked me because she got some CDs that I already have. So she saw the Lion King soundtrack and she was like, oh my God, I have to have that. That's hilarious. So it was $1.99 as well. So we got that for her. I did. And then of course I was an NSYNC fan. And so this made my heart warm when she wanted this one. And it was $1.99 as well. And this is the No Strings Attached one. And then Backstreet Boys Millennium, also $1.99. And NSYNC's first album, here in the US anyways, was $1.99 as well. So she got those ones for herself. Okay, now, um, we went to New Horizon too, and okay, New Horizon, and my sister is in her junior year of high school. Um, but I always do the kids like a senior year scrapbook. Um, I did it for my daughter, and I will do it for my son. And um, my sister has lived with me off and on throughout the years and so <clears throat> I consider her like a daughter so I'm gonna do her a senior scrapbook as well and um, I found this one that has like some of the stuff in it already it was four dollars and ninety five cents and on the back here it says regular price was twenty nine ninety nine so and it came from I don't see a store on there looks kind of like a Kohl's tag to me to be honest with you but anyways, on the back, it's got all these different things already in it. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. We all know me and butterflies. But, um, so I'm going to do her senior scrapbook in here. I thought that would be super cool. And for $5, you can't beat it. I think I paid like 10 or 15 for my daughters. And the next thing I found were nothing spectacular, but... Um, I don't normally buy shoes from the thrift store, but these ones were in decent shape and they are my favorite ones, the free runs. I like the free runs and the flex ones from Nike and the barefoots. Those are my three favorite Nike shoes because they are superior at, um, and I figured I could just even use these for yard work shoes. So I wasn't too concerned, but the price had me, they're in really good shape and the price had me at a good point, $5.97. But this is a $65, $75 shoe. But then it was 50% off. So these shoes were three bucks, you guys, for a pair of Nikes. Yes, they're not brand new, but you know what? I don't have any shame in my game, you guys. I don't. I will wear these and I will mow the lawn and I'm gonna look stylish doing it. It's all good. The next thing that I found was this I got this for my sister so she could put in her room and it says sisters and I'm gonna put a picture of me and her in there and it was a dollar ninety nine and this is from things remembered and so I know this is a pretty pricey frame generally but um I couldn't pass it up it was too cute and you could see my tripod and everything but anyways so I'm gonna put a picture of us in there for her and then she found these two books. My sister is a huge reader. She loves to read. She's like book nerd all over the place. And I am totally okay with that. Um, I, I think it's amazing because I love to read too. I just don't do it as much as I used to. And she found these two books. And I guess there's a third one to the series. Um, this one is Reached by Ali Condi. I'm probably butchering that. She's probably in the other room trying to correct me. Um, and matched by Ali Condi, and I guess there is um, a third one, it's blue, called Cross. They did not have the third one, but I still bought her these two, and they were $2.48 a piece, and that's a pretty good deal since how they retailed for $9.99 originally. 
So now I know just to keep my eye out and see if I can find her the blue one. And when I do find it, I'll get it for her. So I got her those. I kind of tend to spoil my sister when she comes over. On to the Dollar Tree, you guys. I probably could have made that while one haul. Like that's a 10 minute video for you guys. But I'm gonna keep going, you guys. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna give you guys a long haul because this is what I got today. So went to the Dollar Tree for a couple normal everyday items. And well, they've now released new Santa stuffed animals that match the elves that sit on the shelf. And so I grabbed up a couple of those. I did not grab four like I did or five of the elves. Um, because my daughter's room is done in elves, that's why I grabbed so many. But I'm sure one, the dogs will claim one of these, which is why I bought two. And so, and these don't have like the hard eyes in them. So these ones you could give to your dogs if you wanted to. And then they have released for the Christmas season, um, these battery packs. And these have two more batteries than the other packs, the normal ones that they carry. And so I bought me a bunch of batteries. So one, two, three, four, five, six dollars for 60 batteries, you guys. Good deal. Scooped them up as fast as I could. Um, I got me some more of the cinnamon spray. This is one of my favorite. I normally get the little squirt bottle ones but um, I thought I'll get the spray this time. I always have to have minty fresh breath, you guys. I can't, I can't not. So then this was something new that they had. I've never seen these be released at Dollar Tree and the LA Colors Face Primer. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to try it and I'm going to see. I'm going to let you guys know. So they had um, five different ones. They had the clear one, which is... Um, minimizes pores. That's this one. They had a yellow one that corrects dullness. They had a cool pink one, which brightens your complexion, a peach one that neutralizes dark spots, and then a green one, which neutralizes redness. And I did get the green one and I got the white one because I do get real red through hair. You all see this right here. I get real red on my nose, especially when it's cold. So I thought maybe this will help. Maybe it won't. Who knows? But I'm gonna try it out. I've never really used a face primer before. My sister actually was watching me put on my makeup and she was like, oh my God, you use your fingers? And I'm like, well, yeah, like God gave them to me. I'm gonna use them. I don't need a $25 Mac brush to put my face on. Like, anyways, it was kind of hilarious. So I'm gonna try these out. I'll let you guys know. I've never used a face primer before. I use my hands, you guys. Next, um, I found, and they've had these for a while, but these are like for the Christmas season. And I noticed that they now have the dual chargers for your car. So they've always had the single ones. Well, not always, but for quite a while, they've had the single ones. Now they have the dual ones. And I love the dual ones because a lot of the older cars, like my daughter's truck and um, my sister has a Tahoe and they're older. And so they only have one lighter plug-in so buying them the dual one is gonna rock my car however sends how it's a new vehicle i have four different areas to plug in one of these to it so my possibilities are endless if you get me doubles anyway so i picked up a couple of those i don't know where the other one is i'm sure we'll get to it Okay, then I I normally like, I love to color. Oh, I just hit the tripod. I love to color, you guys, but I normally like, like, kid coloring books. I like regular kid coloring books. However, I have gotten a couple of these ones before, and I actually kind of enjoyed it, and I thought to myself, you know what, like... If I'm in the mood to um, color something spectacular, then I'll use this book. If I'm in the mood to just color, I'll just color my kid coloring book. So <clears throat> these were originally retailing for 
$3.95. They say it right there in the corner. And um, I paid a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So, and there's tons of like beautiful, like, look at that picture, you guys. Can you see that? A waterfall. With a... I love it. And they also had this one, which is um, quotes to color, which I thought was pretty cool. And so like, travel, fall in love, and be happy, um, get lost in the right direction. Like, so it's, every moment matters. Like to me, like, I just think that that, like I really like the inspirational quotes and to be honest, um, I really liked, I'm trying to find it you guys. There it is. It says find beauty in the small things. And then it's just rose, like, I thought that was so simple. Anyways, but every page has a different one in there. And I thought, you know what? That is so beautiful that I would actually color this and be super excited to do it. And anyways, long explanation for a coloring book. But, you know, you guys know, ain't no shame in my game. So next thing that I got was for my little niece, the only... Um, girl that I have that's young and she's five and so I'm gonna throw this in her basket a little tea set I thought that was super adorable and um, I'm building up Christmas baskets still because even after I did a ton of them the other night I still have a ton to go you guys so here we go um, I picked this one up for one of my nephews my younger nephews he's all into military stuff and, you know, I know it's not the best toys in the world, but this is just a little added bonus in his basket, and he'll love it. Here's the other one. I picked up a white one, the dual charger. And these are good because they're 2.1 amps, so it's a rapid charger. And a lot of people say the ones at the Dollar Tree don't work very well. I have two of these in my car, and they work phenomenally. And I have an iPhone, you guys, so... Okay, so next up was these are new, they're medium size, me, for medium sized dog. <coughs> Excuse me. They're Dentley's bacon flavor wrapped rawhide sticks. So, and it looks like you get seven of them in the package. And I'm all about trying new stuff for the dogs. It says it's good for their teeth, it's a taste they love, and it's easily digestible. So, yeah and this one's made in australia i know that a lot of people were saying don't get the ones made in china or whatever but i try to stick to generally u.s made dog treats i really do but you know what us humans don't eat the best stuff for us either so i grabbed a couple of them so they can try them and then i oh there's another primer and then I found this 8-in-1 multi-use knife. It has scissors, a can opener, a bottle opener, a flat screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a knife, a nail file, and a corkscrew on it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get this. I'm going to throw this in my car. This is something that would be nice to have just in case, little quick roadside whatever. So I grabbed that and then they had this folding knife. I thought my son would probably appreciate this because he likes to throw knives like at the fence and stuff. And so test it out, see if it's decent, who knows. And then I went ahead and I got, I found a couple more cases at the Dollar Tree for my niece who has an iPhone 7 and so I picked up these for her. This one is a rubber case. You guys know how I feel. This one is a hard plastic one, but I thought to myself, the outside of it is rubber, but this part is like a hard plastic, but the outside of it is rubber, so it will protect it. Protect it. So 
You guys know I only buy rubber cases because when you pay $900 for a cell phone, you don't want to put it in a plastic case that if you drop it, the case goes flying one way and your phone goes flying the other way and shatters. You don't want that. So plastic's the way to go or um, rubber's the way to go. And this is totally random, but they had these animal print lighters up by the cash register and I was dying. I was like, those are so adorable. So I grabbed those to light my candles and stuff around the house. I normally use the big long one, but I've been using the little mason jar candles, so I don't need as long of a lighter for those. So I was like, this will work. Aren't they dorbs? Super cute. So I grabbed those. Oh, this is from Walmart. We're going to jump off the Dollar Tree bandwagon real quick. And I found a couple new scents. There's a lemon pumpkin for my wax warmer. And it smells to me like lemon poppy seed cookies. I'm not going to lie. And I love lemon. So, and then they had this one, which I found was funny. Chilled pomegranate wine. I don't smell wine, but I don't drink wine. So I smell like pomegranate. It smells like straight pomegranate to me. And it smells amazing, and I wish you could smell it. <laughs> smell a vision. We need it. And then um, one of my nephews, I picked him up this. So for his birthday, I got him Michelangelo and this turtle. Like you bend him over, um, you take this out, and you bend him over, and then he does backflips. It's super cool. They're like twelve seventy three, I think, at Walmart. Oh, and these are two dollars a piece. Y'all know. Um, but these are like $12.73 at Walmart and I bought him Michelangelo for his birthday and I'm buying him Raphael for his Christmas gift to go in his basket. I always like to do like a basket full of small stuff like from the Dollar Tree and then I throw in like one big toy or one big gift that they want and that's how I do my baskets. So that's his big item for his basket. <clears throat> Now, you're about to see a man's gift basket in working progress here because I got to put my brother together <clears throat> a gift basket for Christmas. And he has a Mustang GT, um, super nice. It's like the candy, apple red or whatever. Anyways, so he's super ridiculous about his car. So guess what? I hit the Dollar Tree. And I got him a couple of these handy chamois Holds five times its weight in liquid. I got him two of those. And you'll, I'll build the basket and show you guys that. I got two of these super soft micro cloths, microfiber cloths. I got him two of those. They had the Autobrite One Step Tire Shine. And this is a big can. This is 10 ounces. Got him one of those. I got him leather and vinyl protectant, cleans conditions and protects your leather. This is also a 10 ounce, ounce can and he does have leather seats in his car. I picked him up two of the black ice Christmas tree smelly goods. I picked him up two of the refresh in the midnight black. I love this smell. And then I picked him up one of the new car scents put in there because I guess this is his favorite is what my sister was saying I don't personally like the new car scent but I guess some people do so then they had oh oh oh, oh we're gonna whoop, doo, 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 doo. um armor all these are the smaller bottles and I like these because I can stick them in like the door of my car I always have these in my car but this is the auto glass cleaner this is the armor all protectant Oh, we ain't done, you guys. Here's Extreme Tire Shine. And these are like four fluid ounce bottles, but they last me a long time. This is a multi-purpose cleaner. Um, here's the 
Armor All Tire Foam, and this is a smaller one too. This is like the four ounce versus the 10 ounce that you get in these ones, but this is the Armor All brand. So, and then I picked up a couple dupes for my car because I was running low. And then I also got these. These are the multi-purpose wipes. They work really well from the Dollar Tree. If you've never tried them, give them a whirl. You can wipe your dash down, wipe your cup holders out, stuff. I use these all the time. And then I use these as well, the protectant wipes on my dash. And so these also work really well. And they don't dry out. I've had a pack of these in my car for probably six months. And they are still not dried out. So as long as you seal them back up, they stay pretty moist. I hate that word. Okay, then they had Supreme Wheel Cleaner. So this is actually for the rim of your car. And so I got him this big bottle and it's 22 ounces of wheel cleaner for a dollar, you guys. That's a steal on its own. And then I went ahead and grabbed him a fuel treatment. This one is for high mileage. I don't know how many miles he has on his Mustang, but it's not that old of a vehicle, so I'm sure it's not high mileage yet, but this is not going to hurt it. It's just going to clean the fuel injectors and he'll be fine. And then while I was in the car section, I picked me up a lavender Armor All Essential Blend um, hanging diffuser. I'm going to give this a whirl, you guys, because you guys know I'm all about the lavender. I'm all about my diffusers. I'm all about essential oils. They have one at the Dollar Tree for your car. So... Smells amazing in the package because they have the little scratch and sniff. And it smells like the essential oil of lavender. And if this thing works, I'm going to go buy it back and I'm going to buy every one they have. Okay, then I got the bucket. This is what it's going to go in. I got another leather cleaner for my car because my seats are also leather. And I don't ever condition the leather in my car and I probably should. And then... You guys know me and the Mesquite Barbecue Lays. I'll clear a whole tube, you guys. The whole thing, one sitting in my belly. And I grabbed the sour cream and onion ones. And I grabbed the original. Can you guys tell I was hungry? Standing at checkout. And the bucket. That is it. Okay, guys. That was my haul today. That is everything I got. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.